it is one heck of a beacon and pretty cool to check out, especially out of harm's way in the air. It's the remains of the Bernier, a ship grounded in 1966 and the flag that says, Welcome to Red Bay, checkpoint number five. For most racers, they would not have seen the spectacular sights of this area located on the north shore of the Strait of Belle Isle as they expressed through this checkpoint in the middle of the night. It was a first for this community to be involved with Kane's Quest. Team 17 had already passed through when we got an update from their support team. Uh, they're doing good. They're, uh, uh, Chris got a little sick there. Uh, they had to come back to the checkpoint at Birch, at the crossover there just before Birchy, but he's feeling a lot better today. Uh, looking forward to the eight hour rest coming up. So now I think we got about four hours sleep since Saturday morning, so this eight hours is going to be uh, key for all of our team. For racers at night, you need only fly down the coast of the Straits to understand the need for them to work the GPS for tracks inland as the sea ice goes from solid to wide open in many places. No shortcuts and definitely no place for a snowmobile as the teams leave Red Bay and focus on the target 95 kilometers away at Mary's Harbor. Team number four, Backcountry Racing, made great time and landed into checkpoint number six, Mary's Harbor first, along with Team 77, Backcountry Ravens, registering a tied time into Mary's Harbor. Making sure there was room for all to catch a proper rest, Kane's Quest regulated a layover split for all racers. The first half of the active race teams would take their mandatory eight hours at checkpoint seven, Port Hope Simpson, while the remaining teams would have to take their layover at River Lodge Hotel at checkpoint six, Mary's Harbor. The sunrise provided a sense of hope on the horizon. That hope came in the form of Checkpoint 7, Port Hope Simpson. First team to blast across the frozen bay and park their sleds in the compound at the Alexis Hotel is Team 4, Backcountry Racing, closely followed by Teams 00 and 5. As a layover, this checkpoint offered all kinds of insight as to what the run was like and the challenges the teams faced along the Labrador Straits. I wish we could have seen it during a day, but it was, uh, it was a good run. Good fun. Lots of fun. Uh, not, not when we, uh, not when we uh, got to, say, Birchy Lake. We didn't expect to make up this kind of time because we kind of had a bit of a misfortune today. Uh, had to backtrack roughly 100 kilometers total, like 50k each way to pick up a can that we lost for gas. And even though we got the can back, we still ran out of gas just before our support crew was going to be on the road there crossing. So about six kilometers out, so the guys got there real quick, got us filled up and went from there. Yeah, we had a couple of fool ups in this leg. We were doing great. If we missed one key waypoint coming from uh, Bertie Lance Lou, we were chasing tracks, chasing the uh, inner teams that were in front of us. Figured they knew where they were going. It was too late then, so we said, well, we'll chase them anyway. That was the big mistake, because they had lost their GPS. The sun was coming up and rolling hills, and all white and soft and fluffy snow, it was awesome. So that was one of those nice moments. That was the you were racing, right? Yeah, until there was like, like six people with headlights in the background. Oh, I was just like, oh, I better keep pace, keep pace. I can't have them pass me. I'm not letting them have it, I'm not letting them have it. How are you? Good, mate. How was your night? Pretty long. Done to go since, uh, what time? Around two o'clock yesterday. Oh, yeah, yeah. I don't even know what time it is or date is now. <laughs> Other than that, it's pretty good. Well, it's Monday, my friend. <laughs> a little bit of a frostbite. You got a little frostbite? Yeah, not much. It wasn't bad at all. Pretty cool, though, when you see the sunrise, the sunset, and the sunrise again. <laughs> <laughs> As teams prepped to hit the trail for the next section of the challenge, veteran competitor George Rogers summed up his mindset quite effectively, leaving no doubt as to what he expected next. Seven minutes till hell, my son. <laughs> Going into hell in seven minutes.
The next checkpoint is only 185 kilometers to Cartwright, and the terrain won't be near as nasty as the racers once again hit the snow after an eight-hour rejuvenating break.